Hi there! In this tutorial, we are going to build a scavenger hunt app. In this app, you will be shown a clue. Based on the clue, you will write in an answer. If your answer is correct, you will be shown the next clue. To get started, drag and drop two labels into the phone. These labels will display information. Let's set the text of the first label to say, find the clue. And let's set the text of the second label to be clue number one. Next, let's drag and drop a button into the phone. And let's change the text of the button to say, submit. When the user clicks this button, it will submit their answer. Next, drop a text input component into the phone. This will be where the user writes in their answer. Now let's go to the block section. Open button one's drawer. Drag and drop a when button one click block onto the screen. Go into the control section and drag the if do block and drop it within the when button one click block. So how exactly does this block work? Let me give you an example of an if-do statement. If you have a cookie, what should you do with it? You should eat the cookie. So for this app, we are going to say, if the answer is right, show us the next clue. Now let's go to the logic section. Drag the equal block from the logic section and place it within the if part. This block combination will check the user's answer. If the user's answer to the clue equals a specific answer, then we can program the app to do something. The answer to clue number one should also be a text block. So let's open the text drawer and drag and drop a blank text block into the equal block. Let's write answer one in the text block. To get the text that was inputted by the user, go to text input and drag the from text input one get text block and drag it into the equals block. Now, if the user writes answer one, then we want the labels to change. Let's change the text of the first label to say correct. In the blocks option for label one, get a from label one set text to block and drop it under the equal block. And we can change the text to say correct. And we want the other label to give the next clue. So let's just copy and paste this label one block and drop it in right under here. And from the drop down menu, let's have this say label two. Great. And finally, let's tell the app to set the text to say clue number two. Nice work. Now, let's test to see if the functionality works. Go onto the Thunkable Live app on your mobile device. 